beautiful day for some inspiration. What would I do without you, my beautiful tray? Hold on, tray. I'll feed you in a minute. Hi, I'm Adrian Zumbo, and welcome to yet another episode of me, myself, and my tray. Today, we're going to be making an American classic, the chocolate turtle cake. Well, today's going to be a chocolate turtle tray cake. So chocolate turtles uh, traditionally like a little candy um, in the United States with pecans, caramel, and chocolate. Absolutely delicious. They have some resemblances to the shape of a turtle when you see them with the, the pecans poking out and stuff like that. Absolutely delicious combination. An all-time classic, I believe. I think for myself, it's, I love the, the flavors. They go so well together. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make a delicious chocolate sponge. A really simple one to put together. Absolutely no skill needed for this. Uh, but first, what I'm gonna tell you to do is, is make sure you grease your nine by 13 tray. Uh, I give it a little spray, put a piece of paper in the bottom, just for extra security. Uh, you don't want the cake to get stuck, even though it's a non-stick pan, but we just always want that little bit extra security. Right, so, super simple as I said, we're gonna, have Pretty much an all-in method. Um, so get yourself a bowl. In the bowl, we're going to add our buttermilk and oil. Next, we've got our eggs. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just give it a little bit of a swabuki, swabuki. A little bit of a shabazz, da 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 We're gonna mix it together, break, it, break up those eggs with a whisk. Okay, super easy, super simple. Most of our liquids are in that bowl now, all broken up nice and together. Next process is to add in the dry ingredients, and let's give it a mix, all right? In they go. Okay, so we've got all our dries in here, cocoa powder, flour, sugar, you name it, salt. Our leavening agents, it's all in here. Get it all together now. You see, nice and beautiful and smooth. We're gonna add in our last ingredient, which is some warm water. So just slightly heated, not boiling or anything like that. And add that in, 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 in two halves. So break it through. Okay, so we just wanna bring that together. The last bit of water's gone in. Mix it through till it's clear, and then just continue mixing for about 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure all those bits are smooth, taken out. Got a nice homogenous mix. Okay, so our batter's ready. We're gonna fill up our tin and get cracking. So now we need to pour the batter into our nine by 13 tray. Batters in the tray, now we're gonna bake it. So we've preheated our oven to 170 degrees Celsius or 338 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna go and bake that for about 30 minutes, I'll say, roughly. But obviously different ovens, different temperatures, and they work differently, so make sure you just keep checking it. Okay, so now it's time to make the caramel layer. This is gonna go on top of the cake, be covered in delicious pecan, roasted pecan nuts, and just give us so much texture and a bit of sweetness to make this cake tray pop. So first thing we're gonna do is put our saucepan on to start heating it up. We're gonna do this as a dry caramel, so it means no water. So literally we're gonna be just dry carameling, dry caramelizing this sugar 
into the saucepan. Keep adding in additions more and more sugar until that sugar dissolves and starts to turn into a beautiful caramel. And we will deglaze it with our, our warm cream. So we'll heat, I'll heat this up in the microwave. If you don't have a microwave, put it on the stove, whatever you got, make it happen. And then we're gonna deglaze that sugar, create our beautiful caramel texture, add in some butter and toasted pecan nuts. Uh, these pecan nuts will go in and we're gonna blend them until they turn into like a, a nice nut paste inside that caramel. A pinch of salt's gonna go on top of that and we're done. Caramel is nearly there. At this stage, you've got to really pay attention. Caramel goes like that. So when it starts coloring, never leave the room or never never leave the position of the stove. Uh, it's super important that you stay focused because you know, the sugar will burn in an instant. So real time, you know, to just have that precision. So make sure you have your cream warm as well next to you when you come into the stage of having your sugar getting a little bit of color. Okay, so now we've deglazed our caramel. We've added the cream into the sugar, that's what that means. Uh, and now we're gonna cook that for about two, maybe two to three minutes. And what that's gonna do is just take a little bit of that excess water out of our caramel, gives it a little bit more texture, a set texture when we use it. After we add the fat in and that, when it, when it pours over to cake and cools, that it'll have it a nice set texture, firm, just firm enough to hold itself, um, but soft enough to be delicious and unctuous and silky in the mouth. Once we get that caramel down after a few minutes of cooking, after we've deglazed it, we're gonna take that off the heat, let it sit aside for a little bit, let those bubbles stop, let that caramel come to, come to a, a calmness in the pot, and then we're going to pour that into a jug, let the temperature cool slightly, and we're gonna add in our fats, our butter, and our pecan nuts, and we're gonna take this caramel to the next level of flavor, flavor, flavor. So, let's do it. Now it's time to finish our caramel off. So the bubbles have stopped. Our caramel's looking caramely, <laughs> golden, silky. So we're gonna pour that into a jug. We've poured our caramel into the jug. Now we're gonna add in our fats and we're gonna blend it with a stick blender. Make it nice and smooth uh, and just have that great mouthfeel. So first thing I'm gonna add in is the toasted pecans, which I've just broken up a little bit to make it easier to blend in. So in they go. And that's just gonna add, you know, the pecans have got a nice fat content, and they're gonna add that beautiful, nice nutty flavor that, that they bring. So in they go. Now those those nuts have just blended in. They've turned into a like a nut butter uh, inside the caramel and just have disintegrated, adding in the, all that flavour. So last we're going to add in the butter. Blend in all that butter.
steak's just coming out of the oven. We're gonna let that cool now uh, before we take the next step. Our cake's cooled down and now it's time to start assembling the layers and finishing off that final layer of the chocolate ganache when we get to it. So let's get into it. But first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna the cake's got a little bit of a, a, a risen peak in the, in the middle, so I'm just gonna cut that out, and then I'm gonna break that into little crumbs, and we're gonna dry that out in the oven, and that's gonna be our kind of like final decoration, simple finishing touch, add a little bit of a crumbly texture to the top, um, an absolute deliciousness, and a good way, you know, not to have to waste any cake. As you can see, we just leveled off that peak off the top, taking it off, but it hasn't gone to waste. We've crumbled it up on our tray here, and we have all our little crumbled up bit of crumbs, which is, we're gonna dry out in the oven now at 120 degrees Celsius, or 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and that'll take about 30 or 40 minutes or, or so, and that will uh, just create a nice crumbly texture for the topping, and uh, not allow us to waste anything. Rightio, so, Time to pour the caramel on. We've got our chocolate cake we've baked, we've cooled, we've leveled it off a bit so we get a bit better of a layer. And now the caramel that we made, we're gonna pour that over the top and let that set. Now this caramel's already started to cool so it's getting thicker. Yummy, look at that caramel. There's nothing better than watching caramel ooze into a tray. Caramel's on, let's just smooth, give it a little bit of smooth out so it's uh, nice and even. Caramel has been uh, spread over the chocolate cake layer. Now it's time to put our roasted pecan nuts over our caramel. So I've just roasted some whole pecans in the oven, 140 degrees. Celsius, 280 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly. Um, just a nice slow roast, not too, uh, not too fierce a heat, so we can just maintain a, a great nutty flavour and not get too much bitterness or overcooking in the nut. Just spread them out evenly. Just add some great texture. Now it's the time to set this aside in the fridge and let that chill, let the texture start to set while we make our ganache for that last layer. It's ganache time, the final layer. So simple procedure, we're gonna heat up the cream uh, roughly 70, 75 degrees uh, Celsius. So once it starts to get a little bit warm and some heat coming off it, we're gonna take that off, pour it over the chocolate, and then just blend it all together with the final bit of the butter and salt, and make a beautiful silky smooth ganache. It's gonna pour over that caramel and just be that icing on the cake, right? And it's gonna be bring home this beautiful chocolate turtle tray. So I've just scraped the cream into a saucepan and we're gonna pop that on and heat it up. Got our dark chocolate ready in a bowl. I've just turned the cream off completely. Uh, I've just turned the cream off. It's now heated up around 70 degrees. And like, I'm, I've just guessed it. I haven't used the thermometer or anything like that. So now what we're gonna do is pour the cream into the chocolate. Then we're gonna add the butter, blend it all together, pour it over the cake. We're gonna add a little crumble and then we're done. So let's crack on with this ganache, this luscious deliciousness of ganache and finish this off. Cream's heated. We're gonna go in over the chocolate now with the cream. Look at that. Hot, fatty, luscious cream melting those little pops of chocolate. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Who doesn't like ganache? Whisk. Keep whisking gently just till it comes together. 
reflective ganache starting to come to life. We've mixed the ganache, now we're gonna add in that butter for that last finishing touch, just to give us a little bit more depth uh, in mouthfeel, creaminess. Okay, so let's add that in. Okay, hand blender. And we're just gonna whiz that through. Bring it together. <laughs> Okay, so we've just blended that ganache also gently, and I always have it on the lowest speed. Like if your ganache has a variable, uh, your ganache, if your blender, your hand blender has a variable speed, then put it on the lowest speed. We obviously don't want to create air bubbles. We kind of want to take them out because you will get a few that come above, and we really just want to take those bubbles out so we get a better shine. And you you never will get them all out at, on, on a home blender because uh, they, they're a little bit more have a little bit more of a powerful um, thrust so do as best as you can and if you saw how I was blending I always held the blender in the middle that just helps the bubbles fluctuate towards the blender and come away from the rest of the ganache then you have less bubbles to get rid of so now it's time to get our cake out of the fridge where we had it setting with the caramel we're gonna finish it off pour our ganache on the top let that set for a little bit uh, hopefully that won't take too long because we haven't heated our ganache too hot and then we're going to get to try some of this bad boy yeah this delicious cake we've come to the final moment pulling that ganache over the top we've got our cake out of the fridge as you can see the caramel's starting to set nicely we're going to gently pour the ganache to cover the top of the caramel and the pecans Okay, so we're gonna set this aside back into the fridge, let this ganache set and we'll come back. We're gonna cut an absolute banger of a piece out of this and sprinkle the crumble that we made with the, the peak that we cut out on the top to finish it off. And uh, let's just see how good it is. Our ganache has come up beautiful. It's set now, you can see it's, it's firmed up. Uh, you can leave it for a little bit longer to get it like a little bit firmer if you want it like that, uh, but we're ready to rock and roll. I've uh, dried out the bits of cake that, I've, that I cut off the top. So, nice and crunchy now like crumble, absolutely delicious. So never, never waste your cake crumbs, I think that's a big thing, right? It's always something you can do with it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now just sprinkle these over the top. Nice and simple, adds some great texture. Texture is what it's all about. Make the mind start singing. Crunch, crackle, soft, jelly, smooth, moussey. Let's tuck into this, we're gonna cut our slice and we're gonna try it. completely finished we've utilized every portion of it there's amazing textures the moist chocolate cake that ooey gooey caramel with a little tinge of pecan and, and salt um, and then we've got those roasted pecans and then we've got that luscious chocolate ganache on the top our crispy crunchy crumbly cake crumbs that we dried out and toasted 
I just like the finishing pinnacle touch. Now, if you like it salty, you can add a little bit more sea salt over top of this. I'm gonna leave it because I've added salt into all the layers and I think it's really well balanced. Now, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to dig in and try this baby, yeah? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh, yum. So oh, incredible. If you like chocolate turtle, this is bang it. Those crispy, crunchy crumbs on the top just add this biscuity like crunch and crumble to it. And I think it takes it to the next dimension with all those luscious, smooth, sweet, bitter, soft and moist layers that just encompass this beautiful dessert. How simple was that to make? Absolutely simple, out of this world. Something that the family, the workplace or even yourself for a week could just enjoy this every night for dessert or a treat. Have fun, enjoy yourself. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of me, myself and my tray, my chocolate turtle tray. Get into it, try it, make it, bake it, but don't fake it. If you like this video, make sure you press like or subscribe and keep making magic. See ya. You were amazingly delicious in there today. I just couldn't keep my eyes off you. All I wanted to do was eat you. Where are we going for dinner? Bon appétit.